Hey everyone, welcome to our module on matrices. Let's begin. There's going to be three things that you're going to be required to know about matrices on your upcoming exam. The first one is how to add them. Okay, so how do we add matrices? Well, before we think of that, we need to say, okay, well, how is this organized? We have columns, right? As in this green here, columns go up and down. Think of like the columns of a building going up and down. And these are rows, right? So you could say like, um, anything going left to right, horizontal, those would be the rows. Um, I like to think of columns first because that's simple for me to understand. Well, columns go up and down and therefore rows must go across. So now, how do we represent that in this formula down here? Well, you see this number three, this always represents the number of rows, and this two is always going to represent the number of columns. Rows come before columns. All right, so let's go to this problem. When we add them, we add element by element. And what I mean by that is here I have the top left-hand corner. It's going to be added to this top left-hand corner. This bottom right-hand corner will be added to this bottom right-hand corner. So I'm going to have a resultant matrix. That's going to be the one that's formed from the composite of these two. And it's going to look something like this. 10, 3, and negative 1 is 2. Negative 2 and 3 is 1. Perfect. What if matrix A had an extra row? Right? And let's say this was 3 and 2. And someone said, hey, you need to add matrix A to matrix B. Well, you wouldn't be able to do that. They'd be mismatched. So because they have different, this is going to be a 3 by 2. right? So 3 rows and 2 columns. And this is going to be a 2 by 2 will no longer be able to add them. Only ones with the same number of rows and number of columns can be added together. All right, let's take away from that. Now, why don't we go into uh, multiplying matrices? So when we multiply them, it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, why don't we start with what types of matrices we can multiply together? So we're going to look at this over here. So matrix A, that's this one here. It's a 3 by 3, meaning we have three rows and we have three columns. This one is a three by two, so we have three columns, sorry, three rows and two columns. So the way we find out if we can multiply two matrices together is by taking these two numbers. So the number of columns in the first matrix and the number of rows in the second matrix, if these are the same numbers, then I can multiply them together. Great, so how do we know what the dimensions of the resultant matrix are gonna be? Well, we take the first number here and the last number on this side. So the number of rows on the first matrix multiplied by the number of columns on the second matrix is going to give us our resultant matrix. So we have a 3 by 2. Great. So we know the dimensions of this. Now how do we actually multiply these things together? Well, the way I like to think of it is just like how we read. We read from left to right and then we go up to down. I'm sorry, up and down. So we go to the first matrix and we're going to read left to right. So we have a 1, a 1, and a negative 1. And in the second matrix, we go up and down. So 2, 3, and 0. And this is what that's going to look like. I'm going to multiply this 1 by this 2. And then I'm going to put it down here on the bottom. So let's do that. Let's do 1 and 2. So that would be 1 times 2. And now I'm going to take this number 1 and this number 3. And I'm going to multiply those together. So plus 1 times 3. And now I'm going to take this negative 1 and I'm going to multiply it by 0 plus negative 1 times 0. Great. Okay, so I told you that we're going to have a 3 by 2, right? So 3 columns and 2 rows. So really what this is going to look like is something like this. So in the first box right up here, I'm going to put this value. So 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 times 3 is 3 plus negative 1 times 0 is 0, so this is going to give me 5. So the first value I'm going to put up in this box is 5. And I continue on like that. So now I'll take this 1, 1, negative 1, and I'll multiply it by the second column, right? So left to right, up and down. So it'll be 1 and negative 1. I'll put that over here, 1 times negative 1. I'll take this 1, I'll multiply it by negative 2, plus... Um, 1 times negative 2, and I'll take this uh, negative 1 and multiply it by 1. So plus negative 1 times 1. And again, I'm going to have a negative 1 here plus 
well actually minus a 2, and this will be minus a 1. So I have negative 1, minus 2, minus 1, that's going to give me a negative 4, and I'll plot that right here. Perfect. So you can see how we multiply these together. We start from left to right, up and down. Now every once in a blue moon you'll see this on a test, but it would be very rare. Most of the time they just want you to make sure that you know how to uh, match up the dimensions so you can multiply these things together. If you want to solve this out yourself, you can see this is the solution. You can try the rest on your own. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this. Let's go to the next one. So now we have matrix determinant. So this is the other part of the puzzle that uh, you're going to be required to know. What is a matrix determinant? Well, you don't need to know what it's used for. All you need to know is how to find it. Most of the time on the test, they'll give you the formula, but in case they don't, uh, we want to just make sure you can do it on your own. It's pretty simple. What we do is you can think of it as cross multiplying, you know, where you have um, two ratios setting up a proportion and we can cross multiply. And we're going to do the same thing here. And when we cross multiply, we're going to subtract the two elements together. So we have A times D right there minus C times B or B times C. Usually they'll put in a value so you actually have to solve for um, an actual answer. But in case they don't, this is the formula that you're going to be looking for. All right.